Have you calmed down, Sam? <sighs> what you are doing right now is pushing your ego onto those around you. It's quite foolish, obviously, but above all, it's arrogant. <sighs> hmm. Well, you may do as you please. As you say, this is none of my business. And meddling any more than I have would quite frankly be a little troublesome for me. But I shall tell you one thing before I depart, though it might seem quite unnecessary to you right now. Huh? Should you become an observer, for the rest of time you must acknowledge your own existence, as well as your targets. Should you fail to maintain that acknowledgement of yourself for even a second, you will cease to exist as an observer, and even vanish. Your master, Kokonoe, is no exception. And that goes for me as well. So unbeknownst to you, we shoulder great risks as observers. What are you trying to say? This person. He is frankly beyond saving. In fact, his entire being should have been pulled into the boundary, yet his unstable existence is somehow being observed. Foolish wouldn't even begin to describe what she's doing. I'm afraid I would pass that in a heartbeat. Even Takamagahara would have trouble. Huh? Not to mention observing Hockerman and him. Though temporary to sustain observations of that magnitude simultaneously, to me is an act of sheer madness. You... you mean the professor, she... She is keeping Roy from... Let's return to no... I loved me. She is genius. Perhaps she may be able to... Oh, I have already told you too much. I shall take my leave now. I suggest you do the same after you get over yourself. <laughs> Professor, I... I just wanted... Roy! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>